If the Fed and the ECB are all about hawkish tones, the People's Bank of China is not only just the opposite, it's the exact opposite. Uh, cutting uh, key interest rates overnight after yet another string of disappointing consumer and industrial uh, data. That's painting a gloomy picture of its economic uh, recovery. Another pet, pet peeve of mine, Eunice. Uh, that's why I said that. Anyway, good, uh, good day to you. Thanks, Joe. It's really good to see you guys. Uh, you know, the May data was uh, really uh, um, suggesting to many people here that the bounce back that they were hoping to see uh, become sustainable after the reopening um, because of uh, zero after zero COVID uh, would be sustainable, but it really looks as though it could be potentially short lived. All of the data uh, pretty much disappointed. Retail sales uh, were up. 12.7 percent. Of course, this is compared to when a lot of people were locked in their homes. So uh, it also disappointed. People were expecting much higher numbers. Industrial output, so manufacturing, uh, not much of a relief, up 3.5 percent, but d uh, disappointed again, missed. Uh, fixed asset investment also missed. Uh, what was interesting is that private fixed asset investment actually contracted. So that it suggests that the private sector is not doing very well, as we know, from various regulatory crackdowns and uncertainty within uh, the, the business regulations. Now, in terms of the property sector, that a is a traditional growth driver here, uh, not lending a helping hand at all. Um, all the numbers were suggesting further weakness, investment, sales by floor area, new construction starts, funds raised by developers. And the number that people have been talking about a lot today outside of the state media, is the youth unemployment figure. That hit another record to 20.8 percent, and it just uh, really suggests that the economy is hurting here. Now, the policymakers, as you had said, Joe, had decided to cut a medium-term lending rate. This is after they cut two short-term lending rates earlier this week. And uh, it looks as though, uh, I mean, most people expect that we're going to see even more stimulus, which could start as early as next week. On Tuesday, uh, there's another uh, loan prime rate, which is a, a benchmark lending rate for households and businesses. And most people are expecting it to be cut by 10 basis, 10 basis points, similar to what we saw today. Um, and possibly the one that's linked to mortgages, which is a five-year LPR, that one could be cut by 15 basis points to try to get more people here to take out mortgages. But it's going to be hard to overcome, given all the, the pessimism right now about the outlook for the economy here. Joe? It's supposed to be reopened. So we took a wrong turn somewhere. Yep. Uh, Eunice, I don't know. Uh, what's the problem? They have more kids, maybe. The problem, I think, is that, well, there's been three years of lost income. I mean, a lot of people feel pretty poor here. Even though the economy bounced back, uh, you know, they're, they're worried about the lack of savings that they have in their bank accounts. And then on top of that, you do have industries which are traditional growth drivers and you think would bounce back and start hiring like crazy, as they've done in other places, um, such as education or IT or, you know, but, but there, there are just so many different industries here that have come, come under regulatory scrutiny or just generally businesses are, are in the private sector are worried about where things are going and are not hiring, which is a huge problem for future growth.